Welcome everyone back to the channel. Um, so today I wanted to talk about the consumer price index and consumer um, overall debt because the numbers that I found have been really intriguing, especially from the consumer price index standpoint. So the CPI has, if, if you go online and you look up CPI historical values, and you look at, you know, typical dates between, let's say you're looking at the month of March for multiple years, right? And you're looking at, let's say, 2003, 2002, 2001. And the change between the two years is generally anywhere from like one to seven points. It's never a double digit increase. Um, and same with the, the increase by month. On a monthly basis it's never generally a double digit increase and it's it's still generally not a double digit increase but if you look at the if you look between 2020 2021 and 2022 we've seen some of the highest increases in cpi year over year it's insane and yeah percentage wise maybe there's not it's not an insanely high number. It's not 20%. Um, but then, but the increase in, in the values is, is much higher than we've seen before. So I was looking at, I think it was, um, April of, of 2021, 2022. And the change was from, I think 292 is, is the consumer price index for, Oh, excuse me, it was for May. And last May, it was 269, which means there was an increase of in, in 23 points, which is insane. Generally, it's only between 1 and 7. And so you're, this is the real inflation that we're seeing. Is it being properly represented numerically? I mean, a 23-point increase is pretty huge. But... Again, I don't think this is representative of the real inflation rate. And although CPI is increasing, so where we're everyone's saying that inflation is the big baddie here, but with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates and everyone putting essentials and, you know, buying, you know, taking out loans and stuff like that, is it really inflation? I feel like people aren't getting the big picture. We're seeing a huge sell-off in the stock market, like from the high in November of last year. I think the S&P 500 was above um, 4,700, and now it's down to like 3,600. So we've already seen almost a 25% decrease, 20% decrease. We're in bear market territory. Um, and so that's deflation for stocks. We're seeing deflation right now occurring in the stock market. We're not seeing deflation currently in commodities. We're seeing increases in energy, especially oil and gas. And so part of the issue right now is that as interest rates rise, and, and, you know, consumer debt increases, how much more debt can people take on? Okay, there's a, there, the more debt you take on, the lower your credit score gets. Eventually, your credit score is going to get so low from opening up so many accounts, from increasing balances, that you're not going to be able to take out more loans. You're not going to be able to apply for more credit cards. And so you'll have higher defaults. I mean, the I'm looking at it right now. For retail sales, retail was down 0.3% in May. And the major reason why was auto sales declining by 4%. So auto sales are declining. Why? Because who wants to pay the higher interest rates for an auto loan? And apparently no one can get a car right now. So auto, all these new car prices are 
are through the roof because the dealerships want to make a buck before the next recession. So if people can't finance at the growth rate that's needed to keep the economy going, sales will slip. And when we see a sales slip and we start to see negative growth, which we're seeing with retail right now, retail sales are going to start going down because people can't, people are not going to focus on buying non-essentials. People are going to focus on buying essentials. So sales slip and then we'll see the next crash of stocks and bonds falling. And as those fall, people pull out, people start, stop investing because interest rates are so high we're going to see zombie companies closing up shop. We're going to start to see other companies closing up shop. So that's how the consumer price index, consumer debt plays into that and with rising interest rates. So thanks again for watching, guys. Take care.